Slade Steel, Asian Master still bang there on the outer, circling them as they sweep for home. A quarter mile to go. One flight to jump in the Supreme. Tully Hill, grey head bowed low, but here's Slade Steel coming alongside. Mystical Power on the left is giving chase with Mr. Gift, then Teller the Name and Firefox. And down to the last, it's Slade Steel who's moved on. Tully Hill drops away. Mystical Power is the final challenger. And now he surges to the front. Halfway up the run in, Slade Steel is battling back gamely under pressure and rests back the advantage. And Slade Steel, gold plated, wins the Skybet Supreme. And Gaelic Warrior goes on at the last. Spring Hill came up over two lengths clear from Founder 50. Il Ete Tor has run on into third. But Gaelic Warrior is forging clear. And after two seconds, it's going to be third time lucky at the festival. Gaelic Warrior wins the Arkle, Mullins and Townend strike. And the Goffer covers his move, and they are moving menacingly on the heels of the leaders as they begin the swing back towards home. They've got two left to jump in the Ultima. Chianti Classico, Twig, Meeting of the Waters, the White Cap, the Goffer in the blue and red. Famous Bridges hanging on in there in fifth, but this group of five are clear as they face the second last. Nosebound at Chianti Classico, Twig. Here's Meeting of the Waters on the left. Then Famous Bridge over in fourth. The Goffer can't muster anymore. Ch Anti Classico, game in front at the final fence, jumps it well, overball, pitched on landing, landed four lengths ahead though. Twig is chasing, meeting of the waters now, one pace back in third. Chianti Classico getting a bit lonely halfway up the running, but he's grinding this out for Kim Bailey. Chianti Classico and David Bass, full ball, and the drinks are on Chianti Classico. Uh, State Man is sitting right on his tail, Lucia is bang there, uh, now Iberico Lord up the inner is asked to close the white cap ahead of Zarek the Brave and Colonel Mustard, and they're still very well grouped. And here's the second last. Nemean line joined by Irish Point. State man though, hard on their heels as they begin the swing for home. Then Lucia, not so sleepy, has weakened away. Zarek the Brave has been bustled up in behind. Irish Point and Nemean line, but here goes State man now, ghosting into it away to the left. And town end is yet to twitch. And State man comes right alongside Irish Point. Zarek the Brave is running on in behind with Lucia as Nemean Lion backs out of it. The final flight. Stateman by a whisker. Irish point though with stamina assured his game. Now Townend shakes up Stateman. He goes a length clear. Irish point fighting on bravely. Stateman with Constitution Hill absent. Stateman has his day in the sun. Followed by Gala Marceau. Maurice Rock has dropped right out of it now. They have two more to go in the Close Brothers Mares and it's Astro Diamond. Tell me something girl and love envoi lossy mouth is a length and a half off them took it in fourth position traveling strongly though behind this hispanic moon on the left is lang tree lady further back to you wear it well they're coming around the home turn tell me something girl is the one to get past love envoi in second between them here comes lossy mouth then lang tree lady and hispanic moon they're heading towards the last flight of hurdles lossy mouth slowly coming through takes it up now as they approach the last. Lossy Mouth at the last got over it well. Landed with two lengths. Make it three. Tell me something girl. Hispanic Moon behind her but in the closing stages a second festival victory. Lossy Mouth and Paul Townend have won the Close Brothers. Second place to tell me something girl. Melantino, the horse with a splash of white on his face up with them. The Derby making progress. Extreme left luck in the morning. Red Cap running on as well. They come towards the second last. Liari was pulled up and and it's Latin verse on Braden Fasher, Bright Legend, and then Milantino, Pigeon House, Nadawi, and Lark in the morning, the red cap coming into it very strongly now. A harsh is coming from the back of the field. Eagles Rain's got a chance. Nara's there. Miss Mansour is behind this. But it's now Lark in the morning who's got into a two or three length lead. Eagles Rain, Nadawi, second and third. Harsh, Miss Mansour behind those. Final flight in the Boodles. And Lark in the morning got over it by two. The Derby, the Dark Jacket in second. Eagles Rain, the White Colours in third place. But as they run towards the line now, it's Lark in the morning and JJ Slevin clear and go on to win. 
Second is going to be very close indeed in White Eagles Reign, the Derby, the Dark Jacket. Kilbeg King in the light blue and red jacket. Embassy Gardens took that in fifth position. They're away now from Salvador Ziggy. They're heading to the home turn. They've two fences to jump. It's getting hard work for Mr. Van Gogh. Apple away and Corbett's Cross are both coming to challenge. Embassy Gardens is on the tails of those. Kilbeg King is next. They have two fences once they get into the home straight to jump. And they have five of them clear now. And they've only about three lengths between them. And Mr. Van Gogh backling on to Corbett's Cross. On the left then, Embassy Gardens. Apple away in the gold in the centre. Corbett's Cross comes to the second last to take it up. Embassy Gardens on the left didn't jump it too well. And it's Corbett's Cross. Final fence. Corbett's Cross. This year it's a good leap at the final fence. He's got over it five, six, seven lengths ahead. Embassy Gardens has taken second. Then comes the long-time leader, Mr. Van Gogh. But it's a question of how far for Corbett's Cross and Derek O'Connor, who win the Maureen Mullins National Hunt Challenge Cup by a very wide margin.